Smart Draw Tutorial. How to use Smart Draw for beginners. Good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the channel. Today we're having a look at Smart Draw and let me tell you something. This is a fantastic tool with a ton of features. Literally any type of diagram, any type of template that you need, Smart Draw is amazing. You can do it all right over here. So first of all, this is what the homepage looks like smartdraw.com that's the website that you will use and you will find it right over here now once you are in this page over here there's a bunch of options you can view their diagrams templates some of their features their enterprise their developers and then you can also purchase the software but for now what we're going to do is we're going to tap on login and basically it's going to give you the option to enter an email address and a password and you can create a free account once you've done that you can tap on try it now and you will actually come to a page that looks something like this now if you're unfamiliar with exactly what smart draw does there is a ton of stuff that you can do right over here now the interface as you can see on the left hand side you have a toolbar right over here on this toolbar you have all of your recent documents or all of your recent templates that you've used you have smart draw and then you can also add some services you can import some of the things that you've done previously to smart draw and it'll actually integrate it perfectly you can also have a look at the different documents right over here so as you're going down this list you can see now that there are extensions there are shape data agile workflows microsoft Azure. There are charts and gauge, gauges, there are floor plans, there are flow charts, there are process chart mapping, flyers, forms, healthcare. There is so much that you can do here. It is absolutely amazing. And and this is the one thing about Smart Tool is they don't have one set of tools for all of these categories that you see over here so for example i'm going to show you we have actually selected flowchart so once you've selected flowchart it'll give you an opportunity to either use one of their templates which you'll tap on flowchart or you can start your own and you can completely customize it exactly the way you want it so what we're going to do is we're going to tap on the first one and it'll open this page over here and as you can see there are a bunch of different templates Coming back to this page over here that we've just selected on, as you go down, you can see a bunch of flowchart examples. So as you can see, these are all templates that you can use and actually just edit the information and change the entire thing. So it's all down there for you. So I'm going to show you, for example, this one over here. It says this is a vendor payment processing. So this is how it actually works. So once you've opened this, you will see now that you can customize it completely. On the left hand side, you will have your toolbar, which is quite extensive. You have a bunch of different shapes that you can add in there. This is what they call the smart panel. So there's a bunch of shapes and symbols. You can add your arrows, you can split your path, you can join paths, you can swim lanes, add lanes, remove lanes, and a bunch of other options right over here. If you're having a look at what it actually looks like, you can see on the bottom right hand side, you can actually zoom in using this dial over here. And you can actually see it in a bit of a better view. Now, this is what the vendor payment processing flowchart looks like. So, as you can see, it starts with the vendor payment processing. And what you can do now is if you double click, you can actually change the text that is inside here. So you can put in whatever it is that you'd like. Now, just like Microsoft Word or Excel or Google Sheets, any one of those apps, you can actually just change the formatting of the text. And there's a little formatting bar over here. You can see you can change the font, the size, the style, the alignment the spacing and all the rest of that you can then when you're done you can just hit escape and it'll now take you out of there now as you can see this is not selected so once you hover your cursor over this 
block you will see now that there are four arrows that have just appeared so once you go over and you actually hover your cursor over that arrow you will see this symbol over here now what you can do is you can tap down and it will open a new one of these windows now if you want to maybe change the shape of this window all you have to do is when you are creating a new window you can first pre-select the shape so let us do this for example it says off page down we're going to select that and as you can see here we're going to use this one right over here and once you tap that it'll now create a new symbol over there so let's say perhaps we would like to move that arrow we can just click down on the little green arrow which is inside over there and you click down and you can just shift it up to wherever it is that you would like it now you can enter whatever information you'd like in here and then you're done with that what you can also do is let's say you tap on it and you've selected it now with the black blocks that you see around this bar you can actually just drag it and it'll actually change the size of it so you can now imagine that this is quite a lot to take in and you can do so much over here you can also change the arrows and what it says inside of the arrows so all of this is editable now let us go back onto this page over here where we can choose what sort of document we want to use let us tap on infographics and as you can see here there are a bunch of different templates now if you scroll down you will see there are thousands upon thousands upon thousands of different templates and whichever one you choose you can now edit that template completely in the way that you need to edit it so we're going to jump back into there in just a second i would like to show you just one more if you are traveling down this toolbar on the left hand side you will get to where it says you can also access landscape design so you can do landscape design and you can also do floor plans so this page over here basically gives you templates for landscaping so for example this one over here looks quite nice we're going to tap on that and it'll open a new window so what you can basically do here is change all of these elements and around and you can also put it to scale and as you can see here now the infographic that we had opened up earlier on you can see that it is all laid out in a completely different format you can also change the shapes as as you can see on the left hand side here the shapes are very very different and a bunch of the other options are also very different here you can add a picture and you can also look for a symbol if you cannot find the symbol right over here you can also search at the top over here for anything that you've maybe seen in a different template or a different document you can search for it right over here and it'll come up so as you can see here again you can actually just change all the information over here it says double click to enter text so you can change all the information you can change the color you can change the size and you can change the style going back now to the document we opened up a few moments ago this is now a landscaping template or a landscaping document and as you can see here it's got a ruler down the side so now you can actually see the scale and the size of what is actually happening here so each one of these elements you can tap on and you can actually see what is actually happening with this element you can now adjust this element you can change its size you can completely change everything about this template altogether. So whatever it is that you're going to tap on, it's going to select the item and then you can just change all the elements about it. So on the left hand side again, you can see that there are a bunch of different symbols and you can see here there are literally hundreds and thousands of symbols that you can enter in over here. You can also add a single wall and you can then change the document setup the units and the scale you can change you can add an annotation layer you can remove you can adjust the separating wall you can add a wall opening you can also toggle the dimensions on and off right over here 
and you can also measure distance and you can measure area now this is fantastic because this is specific for landscaping and some of the other templates that we've opened up just like this one over here this is specific for infographics and as we go down this one over here is specific for this particular flow st flow chart and as you can see on the left hand side there are so many different options that are offered for these specific templates and i think it's an absolutely fantastic tool it's like a bunch of different tools all in one tool you can do so much with it all you need to do is take the time and explore and obviously depending on what you are needing this program for you can really take advantage of it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to leave us a like don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next video. Cheers for now.